All right, so we're back with yet another video. And in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can actually update videos with the API. Now, uh, one thing that I will mention is that I don't think I will cover a video on how to um, insert videos and upload videos. The reason why is because this is actually a really tricky solution. And to actually go through and test this is going to be very, very tedious because it uses a lot of quotas. But there are solutions and guides online that shows you how to do this. And I would highly recommend you try this out on your own using code instead of Postman. Okay, but I will show you how to update videos, which is very simple. So what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and uh, let's make sure we have the correct scopes, which we do already. Okay, we'll go ahead and copy this endpoint. And I'm just going to go to Postman. And I'm just going to go ahead and just replace the whole URL. I'm not going to create a new tab. And I'll just change to a put. So that way I don't have to recopy the access token and everything. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to basically update the video. But what do we want to update? Right? So what we want to do is we want to update things like maybe category ID, default language, tags, uh, the title, uh, embeddable description, all that, all that type of stuff. Right? We can also update the privacy status too. So what I'm going to do is first let's set the part. And for the part, I'll set the part to, uh, I'll set the values of part to just ID and snippet. So part equals ID comma snippet. And then next we'll need to pass in a request body. So we obviously need the ID of the video that we want to update. So let's go ahead and set that up. Okay. And of course, uh, one thing to mention is, um, you can obviously only update your own videos. Uh, I'm not really too sure if you can update other people's videos if you're like a moderator of their channel. That I'm not too sure of. I think it might be possible, but I am personally not a moderator of other people's channels, so, I've, so I wouldn't be able to test that out. But if you are curious about it, you can try it out yourself. But for now, we will just only update our own video right over here. So I have the video ID right over here. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and specify the ID of the video. So we'll do ID. Now... I don't know why it wants you to specify a title though, which is really weird. Because what if you don't want to update the title? Right? Uh, this property is only required to request updates to videos, resources, snippets. Uh, which I don't think we... Let me see. Updates to video, resources, snippet. I don't think we'll be updating a uh, category ID. So we don't need to worry about this. But it does say... Actually, no, I can't read for some reason. Like, I completely missed this part. It says this property is only required if the request updates the video resources snippet. Um, I think, yeah, if we update the description, I think we need a title. Or if we update the title, then it's required. Yeah, I think we only need to provide the title if we actually plan on updating the title. I think that's the same thing with the other uh, resource that I was trying to edit earlier. Uh, I think, yeah, with playlists, let me see. Let me look at playlists real quick because I did see this earlier. You know what? It didn't actually even have that notice earlier for this one. But for uh, videos, it distinguishes on why you actually need to provide the title. So I'm glad that they clarified it in this document, okay? Um, but let's go ahead and change the title of the video. Enough, uh, enough talking. So we'll set the snippet. Uh, so let's first update just the description. Uh, what's going on? And this is a pull request, right? Yep. Okay. So we got an error and it says that uh, it specifies an invalid or empty video title. So apparently, yeah, I think we do need a video title. Uh, so yeah, I think we do need the title. And that's fine. So if you don't want to change the title of the video, we can just keep the we can just keep the current one like this. Though it is a little bit tedious. Oh, uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, it says the request meta specifies an invalid video description. Did we uh? Let me see. Oh, huh, interesting. So I guess we need a category as well. I guess we need a category ID. 
But like it's it's talking about the description though, which doesn't make sense because, um. Oh, I guess it didn't like this. Uh, I guess we need to escape. I guess we need to. I guess we need to escape the uh, the bracket, the the angle bracket. I think. Okay. I guess it didn't like. I guess it didn't like that. Okay. So now it's complaining about the category ID. Uh, so we'll need to figure out what category ID we need. So I went on uh, Google and I found this uh, YouTube API video category ID list. Uh, so I guess this works. We'll just go ahead and find one for entertainment. So that's number 24. So we'll go back into here. Uh, let me just close this out because I was trying to see if I could fetch the categories endpoint. So let's set the category ID to 24. Okay, so this just got updated. And now if I were to refresh page you can see that i have my description uh let's see I have my description let me click on edit video and is there a way i can see the category uh where is it uh where is the category show more there we go there's the category entertainment if i wanted to change it to comedy or let's change it to technology 28 so let's change it to 28 so let's do 28 and i can also change the description let me see what else i can also change let me check uh you can change tags so let's go ahead and add an array of tags i guess might as well discord Okay, so that worked and let's go back to our youtube studio page video details um let's refresh so we can see that let's see we can see that the tags were added and the category was changed changed so that's good so yeah that's pretty much how we can update the metadata of a youtube video uh, I'm pretty sure you, I'm, I'm not sure if you can update like the thumbnail. I think you might be able to, let me check. Yeah, I don't think you can actually. I don't think you can update the thumbnail. But you can update other stuff such as privacy status, uh, license, publish at. Um, yeah, and a bunch of other stuff. So hopefully this video gives you an idea of how you can update videos and such so that's going to be pretty much it for this video hopefully you all enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one peace out